What's up? All right, let's talk about the pink elephant in the room to start. I shaved it off. I, uh, I needed a break. I love soup. I love to eat soup. I like to eat soup all the time, and it was just getting to be such a mess. Hey, YouTube. My name's Brian, a.k.a. The Boss, or a.k.a. Brian, like it says there. This year, I bought myself my first boat, not knowing how to sail. A 1985 Catalina 30 tall rig named Artemis. Join me while I meticulously restore this boat along with my family. Once she's done, we're going to go ahead and have some amazing adventures in the New York area and then further down south eventually, once I learn how to sail. Anyway, I hope you enjoy all the restoration videos, and like I said in spring, join us for a bunch of sailing. What's going on? So we're back from Aruba, and today the daughter, I don't know if you can see her on the camera, and I are going to go to West Marine. Time to get a couple of little odds and ends. Um, I need fiberglass and I need resin. And while I'm there, I'm going to look for a new shackle for my head sail, which mysteriously disappeared. Uh, went down there, my halyard was just flapping around. Can't quite figure it out. So I did find the pin on the ground, but I couldn't find the shackles. I'm trying to get that. Again, some fiberglass, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, we got to drive an hour to get to West Marine. There is no other marine stores around me. I know West Marine's super expensive. And that kind of bumped me out, but um, it's really my only option. Now, we used to have one right across the street from the marina, but for some odd reason they closed it. I don't know why. I mean, uh, this area of the Hudson is probably the most populated with boats, and it just doesn't make any sense to me that they would move it, you know, an hour south and not keep one here. It's the Hudson River, people. You know, there's uh, seven marinas within one mile and not one marine store. I mean, you your local mom and pop marine stores, but they're not going to have the chop strand. They're not going to have the resin. They're not going to have a bucket full of shackles. So we are sort of, you know, uh, being held hostage and having to drive down there. But not a big deal. Pick up some friends, go buy some stuff, spend some money. B-O-A-T, bust out another thousand. We basically got everything we need. G-Flex, some chop strands, some regular mat, pumps, resin, all the goodness, but still gandering around. Oh, and I got a new shackle, because I'm too lazy to go water it. But they don't have my exhaust hose. That's no good. They do have some pretty nice anchors, though. Fairly cheap, and not that that's big enough for me. It's only six kilos, but nice little stuff. <sighs> Having no idea how to do any of the uh, fiberglass repairs. I just figured I'd buy what I thought was the right stuff. So again, I'm gonna go with West Systems. And uh, I just bought a couple of yards, nothing much. So I don't feel too ripped off from West Marine. I know I was ripped off. People there are cool. Um, I was able to get a zinc that I know at my marina. They charge like 11 bucks for. This was 20, but I was there, so why not just get it? Um, picked up the G-Flex, toughened epoxy. I'm gonna use this epoxy to fill in where my smile was. Now mind you, we checked out the uh, we checked out the keel bolts, and they're all good. I had to torque one um, by about three pounds. Other than that, they were all perfect. So I think that that smile issue was really just. 34 years of flexing and whatever I might have hit in the Hudson this year when we are out sailing. Um, it's not fully, it's not a full smile, it's just in the front and the back, right? And it's not um, all the way through, so that's good. But yeah, so I picked up a bunch of things, like I know I could have gotten this for a lot less. I paid uh, 15 bucks, I think I could have probably got it for three. Bunch of, you know, fiberglass and whatnot, but yeah, it should be good. And um, cool, let's wait for the repair now. All right, <clears throat> so attempt two, to clean the glue off the back of the boat. Got everything with me in the van, including the free candy. And we're gonna head over there. I need about <clears throat> 20 minutes just to get the glue off. If I can get in there and I can get the glue off, I'll probably put the handling port um, on the back. <clears throat> but hopefully they're open, it's super annoying. Like how do you close up? days of the year people are trying to get the boats done so let's see what happens hopefully i get to do 
what I gotta do, especially vacuum out the bilge. Uh, it seems, again, with the way they place the boat, um, it's at a uh, 10, maybe 11% grade towards the, uh, the stern. And I think what's happening is the weather stripping on my anchor locker is no good, and somehow water is, is infiltrating the boat there. I have no water coming from the windows, nothing, just my bilge is constantly filled and with the constant freezing and thawing. I can't, I can't have that, right? So I need to get that out as much as possible, um, especially because we're going to do everything with the uh, fiberglass repair. I want to make sure that that is not going to be another factor uh, causing issues. So hopefully today I can just get down there, get the glue off, get it vacuumed out, and then if I go back tonight, tomorrow, uh, get the lettering done, that'd be good. The other problem is they're, they're, they're locking the yard at 4.30. Um, they don't open it when people can work on it, but, you know, like, or right, after work, you get off at 5 o'clock, the yard's already locked, so it's, it's really starting to, to, uh, to wear me down a little bit. I'm going to ask him today for a key. Let's see what happens with that. Anyway, let's see what happens next. Well, it's opened today, which is good. Um, so I'm going to vacuum it out, but... In the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some goof off. Um, you can see where the north port still is and where the old name was. So I'm just gonna put some goof off up there, let it sit while I vacuum, and then I'm going to uh, razor blade it again, uh, just with a plastic razor blade, use a magic eraser and then acetone, and then I'll get the north port put back on, which will make me happy. And the other name is gonna be right over here. No matter what, I'm gonna have some, some bleaching, but I'm okay with that. She's old. She's an old girl. We're okay. Alright, so again, I'm just spraying some goo gun. And we're just gonna let that sit on here for a little bit. And then I'm gonna rubber, sorry, plastic razor blade it. Magic eraser. And uh yeah, let's see what happens. Now let me go vacuum now. So this is what I'm talking about. The boat is just filling with water. Now, there's no leaks. I guess you see a little bit of drip right there, but not enough for that. No leaks whatsoever, except for the front, where that's where I, I truly believe it's coming from. Though, looky looky, this box is wet. Coming off of that, wait a second here. Have we figured it out? That box is wet wait there it is that's got to be my leak dry Ooh, no wet here it's leaking into this box okay so this is it found it thank god all right so i just got to reseat that i'm gonna reseat that one all these look good interesting all right, cool. I'm feeling good. Let me get this uh, vacuumed out now. All right, so we got got the goof off on there. And now I'm just going to quickly scrape off any more solids here. I'm going to have to put a new blade on it, though. Let's see, it takes off a good amount with the blade. But we definitely have some burning into the glass. But that's what the magic eraser might fix. You can hear it. Crazy. This is what happens when you leave a sticker on for 30 years. Yeah, I'm gonna go change this blade over. New blade. New blade. Yeah, already better. All right. Well, that did, I got off some more of the glue. We still have the staining. But um, I'm going to go ahead and acetone it now, and then I'm going to go ahead and use the magic eraser and see if I can get rid of some of that staining. 
If not, we have standing. What better do? Let's see what happens with the acetone. The acetone didn't do as much as I wanted, but it did get the rest of the glue off. It actually crumbled up. So now I'm going to do the magic eraser and see if I can get more of that. Um, I might wait to put the name on. I wasn't really even planning it today. I just really wanted to get Northport put back on in black. Let me get that magic eraser and get going on that. It's, it's getting hot. I know it's not much, but it's getting pretty hot. So this is going to do absolutely nothing. That's my best opinion here. All right, what am I going to do here? I guess we're just gonna wind up with staining, huh? Oh, damn. Whatever. This came out pretty damn good. If I can get some more of that off, I'll be happy with just the North Port today, and then I'll see maybe if I do a little light sanding or something, maybe that'll uh, help with that staining. Well, I'm happy with how the Northport blended. So I got the new one, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this on right now, but I think I definitely wanna do some more work to where the old name was, Splendor, and uh, then I'll put the new one up. So not today. I'm very happy with that. Almost got it to match perfect. But one thing I've learned with lettering, if you go distort it a little bit, A, it looks like we have shadowing now, but B, that'll fade to normal, and that'll be gone by the end of the summer. So this looks really good. Exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going to work on this just a bit more because I'm feeling froggy. Alright, Northport came out really nice. And under there is the new name. However, one of the letters is not sticking. It was embedded into the actual um, anchor. So I need to uh, get two letters redone. But not a big deal. So I'm pretty stoked. It's going to look good. And again, the real name's right there. We'll pull it off and uh, we'll do the ceremony in a few weeks. And then we get to see what it looks like. Well, all right, we uh, just left the office and they promise it's going to be left open from now on. I just feel bad for all those people yesterday that were coming from out of state. It was, uh, it was a lot of us down here. But hopefully it's back on, open, or whatever, on, open, good to go. Going forward, they said the water is going to turn on in about a week. So now we can really finish the bottom. And the name looks awesome, except one of the pieces of vinyl, only the A and part of the R, were messed up. So they're going to recut that for me. And then we can finish that. It doesn't look even, even though a measurement proves it is, I guess because of the curvature of the back of the boat. But whatever, I'm digging it. Fun stuff. So, yeah. Next week, we should be full into really working on the boat. Um, me and my homie are going to come down this week. We're going to measure the exhaust tube, or the exhaust hose. Uh, we're going to order all the new hoses, fuel lines. i got to take out my mixer. Well, that's it's a baffle um, to send hot water back to the hot water heater. I don't want to get rid of that. That's just a weak point. I, I have no need for it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. What is happening here? Filter key. Computer's being weird. But yeah, so that's where we're at. Anyway, uh, again, this is going to start ramping up real soon. Motor is done. Uh, all the parts to put it completely back together, meaning add the transmission back to the engine, will be in this week uh, from CD, Catalina Direct. I'm weird with that, but either way, my damper plate's coming. All the motor mounts are here. The motor's back together. We just got to paint it, uh, put new belts on it, and then we're going to go ahead and dump it back in the boat and get it rewired in. I can't do any electrical, heavy electrical work until that's done because the motor is the ground. And every time I try to turn something on inside the boat, it trips a breaker because there's no ground. So once the motor's back in, I can really finish all the electrical. But we're going to run new wires in between just so we're good to go. And um, then I can time all that. New hoses, yada yada. So fun. we got a lot of work to do. Like, I'm mind blown that I have to have this done in a month. And uh, I'm very thankful that I worked on this all winter long. Even the small projects. Just do small little things here and there. You will be ahead. I am not ahead, but I'm not behind. So stuff. Hey. Alright, talk to y'all later.